welcome to my YouTube channel. I have been asked a few times now to make a video showing my entire Pasha Pasha collection. So I thought I would do that today. Um, I just really love Pasha Stalls. She is tied in the top spot as my favorite artist. I have a couple that are up there in that top spot. And I really, really just love her dolls so much. And so I'm going to go through the ones that I have with you guys. I have some kind of I think the only thing I'm no I think I do have a second generation doll so we're going to talk about them all the newest I'm going to start from the beginning from the first one that I got so the very first Pasha Pasha doll that I got is this Pulse she is a simply beautiful Pulse I had seen um, many stitches I had been looking at Pasha's dolls for a while and I had seen many stitches video about Pasha's dolls I think I lost her magnet has fallen out there I saw her video about her pulse and I was just like blown away by the doll like the handling of the doll and how she looked in her hands and stuff like that and I was like I really want to get one of these and so I went to the website and this was back before they were selling out instantly and there were still some Simply Beautifuls there that had been there for a couple of weeks <clears throat> after a Simply Beautiful drop had happened and so I bought her this was also before when you could actually add Pasha's painting to the doll. So I add the, added the face up and simple body blush from Pasha. And so she has the, um, this is not the hyper realistic, but it's the simple body blush and face up from Pasha. And I just love this doll. She opened up, <clears throat> sorry, she opened up an entire world of doll collecting to me. And it's just been so amazing and i just love her face so so much i think she's just such a beautiful face and i'm really excited to have been able to get her as my very first one painted by pasha one of the things i really love about the simply beautiful is that you have this gorgeous neck joint that is solid i like the posable neck too but there's something to be said about the elegance of the single neck piece and so i just really like that i wanted to point that out because i think some people maybe get bummed sometimes that they they can't afford the like third generation body that has all the joints don't be bummed about that if you can if you can afford the simply beautiful body it is gorgeous and elegant in its own right and yes it may not have the same posing capabilities but it has all the elegance and all the beauty of a third generation fully jointed doll so i just think they're super gorgeous this is the small busted doll and so that was my first pasha pasha doll now my second pasha pasha doll and i'm hoping i'm getting the order right here i'm pretty sure i am my second one that I got was Giddy Heights, and I got this second hand. So I got Giddy Heights second hand. She is a full set, but she was one of a limited full set that Pasha did. I think she did 10 of them. These shoes do not match this outfit. I apologize for that. She came with purple shoes. This is not her full set outfit either. Um, but she is just so beautiful. I really love her. I believe she is a second gen body. So she's got she's got um <clears throat> she is more jointed i only have one first generation body which i'll show you here shortly but she's just so pretty i just love her i love the printed wig with her like i thought for a long time i would like to have her in a different wig and i've tried her in some different wigs and done some different things but i just really like the look of her 3d printed wig i think it looks really cool on her and she is the ebony silk skin tone and I just really love this doll. I was really thrilled to be able to get her second hand. So once I got my first Simply Beautiful, I was able to get this one. And one of the things, I'm, I'm like a little bit, I don't like to pre-order dolls anymore. Um, <laughs> it's just like, and so I, I haven't ever, that's a lie, I have ordered pre-ordered one of Pasha's dolls. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Well, after I bought Giddy Heights, I was like, I really want to buy one of Pasha's full sets for myself um, and I, I just really want to get one so the next one I got was Loki now I do not have all of her accessories out here um, but here's Loki and this was my first Pasha Pasha full set this was at the time the most money I'd ever spent on a doll ever it actually may still be mm, no I think it's not actually um, but she's just 
so gorgeous. I love the outfit that Atelier Chaos made for her. I love her underwear that Pasha made. I think she's beautiful. Now, one of the things about her is she's one of the first dolls. Um, I don't think she's the very first, but she's one of the first like two or three that Pasha did with play makeup that you can play. And Pasha says not to leave the play makeup on for longer than an hour. I did that with her lipstick. So if you're looking at her lips thinking they look kind of funky, I left her black lipstick on way too long at one point. I had a really hard time removing it. So the, the play makeup is like to play, take photos, and then to remove. I'm just going to put that out there because it did kind of like, the faces are resin sealed but it still left like in the corners of her mouth and stuff. I just really couldn't get it completely removed. So if you're wondering why her face looks like that, it's totally my fault. I was told not to leave it on long. I did anyway. So, but Pasha just sold today Unicorn full set. I believe it was $5,200. And then she teased another full set, which is another full set Crave. And her facial piercings and wig are very reminiscent of Loki. So if you really like Loki, the Crave that she just posted about today is really reminiscent of this doll. She, I believe she's a Milk with Blood skin tone. So this is the Ebony Silk, and I believe the one she teased today was Milk with Blood. So that is Loki. Now I'm the order next is this girl so there were some simply beautiful breaths in white bone still available right after i got my loki and i was like so excited i was like you know what i want to grab one of those too because what i like about the simply beautiful besides the elegant uh elegance of like the neck piece and all that is i like that they're ready right away that's what i like about the full sets because i just i don't love a pre-order so i was really excited to be able to get her and she was painted by many stitches, actually. This outfit is one a friend of mine sent me. Um, I, will, I really love the color purple, so I kind of put her in this with her purple wig from um, Anna Z, and she's just, she's breath. She's the Simply Beautiful breath, so I was really just, yeah, I was excited to get her, too. So I got them back to back pretty quickly. And then, next. Now I have to think for a minute who came next, next. I want to say that next, next, I got this girl. I, th I hope this is correct. So this is my sand and salt, salt and sand um, bubble gum. She was a full set from the Candy Crush collection. And I was really, so I loved her face. I fell in love with her face. She is a modified nerve. I love the shape of the mouth that she has. I, if you haven't been here on my channel long or this is your first video that you're watching, she actually went to Pasha's studio to pick this doll up and then I ended up having Pasha ship her home to me anyway. So there's also an unboxing of her here, but when I went to Pasha's studio, it was specifically to get this girl and I just love her. She's so beautiful. I have, I don't know that I've seen, I think she has offered um, sand and salt. Is it salt and sand? I think it's salt and sand. She's offered in at least one pre-order. I don't know that I've seen those dolls hitting people's houses yet, but it's a really beautiful skin tone. Like I really like it and she's just, she's, this one was like, I was so thrilled to get her. She came out at just the right time. Like I had just gotten my bonus at work. Um, if we get bonuses at work, they're like around the end of June and she came out right around that time. And so I was able to grab her. So I was thrilled about that. And then after her, I got this guy. So this, this is, he was at, actually at Pasha's studio, but he wasn't painted yet. So I didn't bring him home with me. But this is Hunger. I did pre-order Hunger. So when I said earlier, I don't think I've pre-ordered. I did pre-order Hunger. And I'm not usually a boy doll person, but I, of course, had to have him because he was just so cool, such a unique sculpt. And I love, like, all the little things about him, like his movable fingers. I love that his hands, like, screw on so it's not magnetic. They stay on better. So, like, when you... if like you notice like some of the magnetic parts are falling off. Well, I can't get it off in the, at this angle. I just took them off a minute ago. Actually, let's see. Um, the hand, there we go. So the hands just screw off and they've got the screw. I love that. I think that's just such a great piece of engineering because it is easier. I've heard other people say they don't like it, but I actually do prefer it. 
um, than the magnets because your, your stuff is a little bit more secure. But I just think he's so cool. I have not seen one of the mini hungers in person. I have debated back and forth about whether I need a mini hunger for my collection. I'm, I mean, would I like to have one? Yes, of course I would. Would I rather put that money towards another one of the ladies? Probably so, so I don't know, but maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll get a mini hunger for my collection, but I, I think he's just so cool. He's such a cool sculpt, such an interesting doll, and he's a lot of fun to play with, like with all his, ooh, all his different um, things. Now, the next doll that I got in my collection, I'm pretty sure next was Blue Caterpillar. And she, this is the doll, she was a total surprise to me. I was absolutely so shocked when I received her. Like it was, if you haven't seen that video, I ugly cry throughout pretty much the whole thing, but a dear friend who, someone who's become a dear friend to me, sent her to me having known that I was really like wanting this doll so much and she basically couldn't, I think, she didn't say this, but I think she like couldn't bear to see anybody else have this doll because I had been talking about a blue caterpillar ever since Pasha had first announced the Alice collection. And I just love her so much. She is the most special Pasha doll in my collection because of the whole story behind her and you know everything else about her. And she's just, she has a lot of accessories too. So she has a lot of cool things. She has two mushroom pedestals. She has a, um, Oh gosh, the name's escaping me. A hook, a hookah, and she has um, her eyes open and closed. Like there's a lot of play value with her. She is one of the few dolls, and I kind of have made this this um, decision with the full sets. And you may have heard me talk about this. I've kind of made the decision with the full sets to stop redressing them and kind of leave them in their full sets and leave them displayed because anytime I redress them, I just it's always like I end up I like the full set better. So I've stopped redressing them. She has never been redressed, so I've left her as is, but I have played with her eyes open and closed them and stuff like that. But this is my only, um, this is my only, she blue blood Pasha doll. This is the only one, but I love her. She's so cool and just so like, you know, such a, such a amazing doll, like really, really amazing. And then I've got, um next came let's see next came i might have them out of order but next came this pulse this is a generation one original size pulse now i do love the original size dolls pasha told me herself you know when i was at her studio that the original size is her favorite and i can definitely see why there's more heft to it you know you can play with it you can move it around it's just a lot of like um oh her glasses are falling off it's just, there's so much you can do. These are actually, <laughs> these glasses actually belong to Bubblegum, but I pat them on her because I think they look really cool with her. But she was really gorgeous. Now, she was technically a full set. She was one of Pasha's very early full sets. She was the Dewey girl, and if you saw my video about her, her face up was really damaged. I tried to fix it. I was very dissatisfied with my results. So I reached out to Erica and I asked, you know, is there any chance that Pasha would repaint her? And she did, and I love the results. I think she came out so beautiful, just absolutely incredible. I have her original wig as well that came with the Dewey full set. It is a silk wig, um, but I ended up going with, it had been cut, I think, from the original owner had cut it. So I ended up just putting her in this wig. It's generally the same color, so, but I think this girl is beautiful. The full set itself did not come with clothing. So the Dewey girls didn't come with clothing. They just came with wig and, and full painting by Pasha. So she redid her face. I didn't have her body blush redone because body blush is one of those things that's going to wear off over time. And so I didn't bother, I didn't bother her with that, but I did have the face redone. And she, she's one of, she's a, she's a generation one, like I said, and she has actually come out to be one of my favorites. I really, really love her, like everything about her. All right, next that showed up to my house was this girl, and she is one of the also limited full sets. So we had Giddy Heights, and then there's this girl, and I am so sorry her name is escaping me once again. I forget her name every time, because in my mind, she's the fifth element full set. 
And I don't know why I do that, but there were seven of these and I love the way, and the reason I call them the fifth element full set is because they have that futuristic um, airline stewardess look about the outfit and it just, it just feels that way to me. I just absolutely love her. And it's kind of cool that of both of the limited full sets that Posh has done, I have both of them. So she's a nerve sculpt and she is a sanity sculpt, the Giddy Heights is, and I'm just thrilled with them. And what's really cool about the difference between the two is Pasha really upped her game um, in between the years that these two limited full sets were made because she started making her own clothes. So she's got this, this outfit is made by Pasha and I love it. Like I love all the details on it. I just think she's gorgeous. And you can kind of see, there is a difference because they are minis. You can kind of see with this nerve face, like how the mouth is versus the nerve face on my um, bubblegum girl. You can see like the teeth are more exposed in her mouth and they are on this one and I think that's the carving that she did just makes them look totally different which is really cool but of all of Pasha's dolls faces it's hard to pick a favorite I really love Nerve I really love Breath too but I really love Nerve all right so who have I not talked about yet I think we have two left we've got this is another Nerve and this one I don't have an unboxing of this was an unexpected surprise for me I'll just put it like that she is a Nerve um she is painted by Pasha she's got the back when you could still get the painting done by Pasha she's got the more um like the simple not the hyper realistic I, I call it simple but it's like it's not the hyper realistic face up and body blush. It's like the less intensive one. She's got a little bit, cause Pasha does resin seal. She's got a little bit of white like flaking there on her eyes. So her wig kind of hides that a bit. So, but I think she's gorgeous. She's another nerve sculpt. I just really, I do really love nerve. And you can really see too, the difference on her face and teeth versus her face and teeth, like the difference in the mouths. Let's see if I can get them seated next to each other so you can kind of see the mouths side by side just to get an idea of like the difference in the carving that she did for the bubblegum doll. So that is nerve. She, I'm pretty sure she's third generation and I need to like, make a video with the differences between first second and third generation if you ask me what they are i could not tell you what they are right now because i really don't know i would have to sit down and kind of discover and play with each doll the third generation does have more joints but specifically what joints i couldn't tell you unless i like sat down and play with them but maybe one day i'll do that and show you guys what i discover are the differences and then the last doll i got is a breath and i just recently got her and i had the face up artist um, Vita Vera, also known as Sumanaki on Instagram, do her as Princess Diana makeup style, and I just love how she turned out. I think she turned out great. I'm thinking of adding some blushing to her chest since her chest is going to be exposed. I think that'll give her a little more life. That's something I think I can feel pretty confident doing myself, but I think she turned out great. I'm really happy with her, and I love the actual, like, the the third generation breath sculpt that have the simply beautiful but this one has the actual removable teeth it's not cast into the head my dream pasha doll right now that i don't have that i would like to have is i really want an ebony silk breath and um somebody had one up for sale a couple of years ago that i absolutely loved and i loved the paint job it wasn't pasha's paint job which is unusual for me to like a paint job that's not pasha's but it wasn't pasha's paint job and she was just stunning. And I'm trying to remember the name of the person who had her for sale. It's the same person that made the underwear that my, um, my Dewey girl is wearing. And I, her name is escaping me right now. But she is in the UK and I just love Fanny Foo. Fanty Foo is her name on Instagram. The face up she does, she doesn't take face up commissions at all. Like, but her painting on her own dolls is stunning, but she sold that breath. I was too late, I didn't catch it. That's my favorite breath, like I think I've ever seen in ebony silk. So I'd eventually love to, love to one day have a breath in ebony silk. I'd love to have a first generation one, because I like the first generation body a lot. 
um, just from playing with my pulse versus the others. But one day I may break down and pre-order one. I was going to do that a couple times and then I didn't. But one, one of these days I might just break down and do it. Or if Pasha like drops one in the, the just painted section, if I can afford it at the time when she drops it, that might be something that I go for. But anyway, yeah, that's on my wish list for Pasha dolls is that one. Among a couple of others, but... Um, really like at the top of my list that's probably really attainable would be the ebony silk breath I'd love to have some uh, one of the Halloween heads but you know those are I think harder to come by but anyway um, thanks guys for watching this I hope you enjoyed it obviously I love Pasha's dolls I feel very fortunate to have the ones that I have and very fortunate to have been able to meet her and go to her studio she's just a wonderful person and Erica is amazing as well, who helps her run the business. And now she has more folks in the studio. Maybe one day I'll have to take a, another trip back and meet the new folks in the studio. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are a fan of her dolls and if this is your first time learning about her dolls, make sure you go follow her. She posts a lot of cool reels and behind the scenes stuff and gives you some insight into the doll making process. So anyway, I just love her dolls. I think they're so gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louise's Knit Knacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!